But let, let's just back up from, uh, with all due respect to the speaker, that what he said is not the gospel truth. The fact is that a lot of the spending increases came during the Bush administration, the two unpaid for wars that we got ourselves engaged in, uh, a prescription drug plan that added enormous amounts to our spending, and uh, the, the tax cuts for the high end that did not cre cre uh, create jobs and create revenue coming in. Yes, we had the, the uh, Recovery Act, which saved or created three and a half uh, million jobs. You know the record of job growth in the private sector has been consistent for many record number of, of months. So it, it isn't as much a spending problem as it is a priorities, uh, and that's what a budget is, setting priorities. Which you talk about growth, uh, even Christina Romer, the former head of the Council of Economic Advisors for the President, says you increase taxes, that also hurts growth. Well, it, it's about timing. It's about timing, and it's about timing as to when you make cuts as well. Uh, we, but you, could you, the, the fiscal cliff, you raised taxes, $650 billion right away. Yeah, and that was a very good thing to do on people making uh, over uh, the high end uh, in our um, um, population. Nothing brings more money to the Treasury of the United States than investment in education of the American people. So it, it is a, almost a false argument to say we have a spending problem. We have a budget deficit problem that we have to address. The top 1%, right, right. top 1 pay 37% of all federal income taxes. The top 5% pay 59% of all federal taxes. If you took the total income of everyone making more than a million dollars a year, if you taxed it all at 100%, that's only $726 billion, which is less than the projected deficit for this year. I mean, the bottom line, Congresswoman, is you can't raise taxes enough to solve the deficit problem. Nobody is saying that we're saying it has to be balanced. Uh, we, we avow the First Amendment. We stand with that and say that people have a right to have a gun to protect themselves. 